Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do audio mastering in Adobe Audition. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So I'll start this video off by saying this is how I edit and master my audio. Some of these things you can take with a grain of salt and try adjust them for your audio to see how you like the sound of. However, I'll be giving you some tips and advice as we go through so you can see exactly how to set it up. The first thing I'm going to do is just giving a quick sample of how the audio sounds without any effects on it. We'll also be doing a quick sample at the end, but this will help give you a nice starting point. Rather than just a screen recording of <laughs> how to log into fucking Discord or some bullshit. Rather than just a screen recording of <laughs> how to log into fucking Discord or some bullshit. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. So you, you down for that? I don't like timing. So that's how my audio sounds beforehand. So the very first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be removing background noise. Now, how I would suggest doing this is looking for somewhere in the track where you have a couple seconds of silence that we can use as a control point. So next time you're recording audio or you want to do this, I'd recommend leaving five to 10 seconds at the start or the end of a clip where you just record silence so we can have a noise floor for how your room is. So what we're going to be doing from this point is coming to effects. We're going to be coming to noise reduction and we're going to be capturing a noise print or shift and P and that's going to capture a noise print of our selected area. From this point, we're going to be clicking Control and A. We're going to be coming back up to our effects panel. We're going to be coming to noise and reduction, and we're going to be clicking noise reduction process. Now, from this point, we're going to be able to remove some of the background noise that we captured from our noise print in our audio track. Now, there's two main things we can affect here. One is noise reduction. We can choose how much we actually remove our noise by, and this will be the screen bar right here, which will give you a good representation. And the second is how much you want to reduce it by. In this case, I normally leave it around the default, although I reduce the reduce by a little bit and I reduce the noise reduction a little bit. To actually hear the difference, you can use the play and pause preview right here, and you can toggle the effect on and off by clicking this power button right here. In this case, I'm already happy with kind of how this sounds. So I'm gonna be clicking apply, and this will remove some background noise from our audio track. The next thing we're going to be doing is normalizing our audio. To do this, we're going to be coming up to the effects panel. We're going to be coming to amplitude and compression, and we're going to be looking for the normalize process right here. Now, for me, I normally pick anywhere from 90 to 100%. I normally do around 93 to 95. However, you can also do a decibel, and I'd recommend somewhere between minus three and minus one. So here you can choose which you would like. In my case, I do the percentage process just by default. Once you've set somewhere around 90%, click apply, and then our audio will be normalized. From this point, we're gonna be adding some dynamics processing just to give our audio a little bit more flavor is how I will describe it. To do this, what we're gonna be doing is coming to the effects panel. We're gonna be coming to amplitude and compression again, and we're gonna be coming to dynamics processing. Clicking here, we can see my main preset of how I actually do this, and this is my most default. I just add two extra points here on the top and I simply reduce the top point a little bit down by a couple of dB, somewhere between five and 10. So if we wanna recreate this, we can simply open up the default. We can just reduce the top point somewhere between five to 10 dB. And this will give us a nice kind of threshold cutoff point that we can use. You can actually listen back and play back over the audio to see how this sounds. Rather than just a screen recording of <laughs> how to log into fucking Discord or some bullshit. So what I'm going to be doing is clicking apply here, which is just going to help reduce our sound a little bit and make our audio a bit more crisp and clean along the whole wavelength. We're going to be coming to filter and EQ, and we're going to be adding a parametric equalizer. Now, this is how I normally do it by default. I take away a little bit from the middle point. I add a little bit to the end and a little bit to the high point. Now, normally I add a little bit around 100 hertz point. I take away a little bit around the 7800 mark, and then I add a little bit coming up into the 5, 6, 7000. Again, you can just use my custom preset and you can kind of copy the settings I have. I would recommend experimenting depending on how your mic sounds, maybe bring up the low end a little bit more depending on the effect you're going for, or reducing the high end a little bit depending on what you're going for as well. This requires a little bit of experimentation. We basically do a width path on both the high and the low end, and then just reduce our mid end a little bit, which just helps give us that more kind of broadcasty tone to our audio. Once you're happy with this again, we simply click apply. And then the final thing we're going to be adding is a hard limiter just to increase the volume to make sure we get the maximum volume without clipping. To do this, we're gonna be coming to our effects panel. We're gonna be coming to amplitude and compression, and we're just gonna be adding a hard limiter. In this case, I have my main again. I'm just gonna be setting my max amplitude to minus three dB. I'm gonna be putting the input boost to six. I'm gonna be leaving the look ahead time at seven and the release time at a hundred. And for this is what I like to do for the most part. It sounds really good. Click apply and you'll see our audio track instantly gets louder. And if we play this back over, this is kind of the most volume you can get without sorry, of clipping or creating any distortion to your audio, but still creates a nice overall sound. Exactly, yeah, where someone like is like, all right, I want you to redesign a logo, or 
Now, what some people like to do at this end point as well would be normalize the process again. It's not something I always do, but sometimes depending on the audio, so I will be doing it in this case. Just click Control and A to select the entire track. Come back up to normalize, again around 95%. Click Enter, and then we should have the maximum volume, and your audio should sound really good at this level. And if we come down to the bottom left, we can see the history of our effects, and we can take a step back to the very beginning to see how it sounded at the very beginning before we had any of our effects here. And this will give you a good idea of how it sounds and you can hear a huge difference rather than just a screen recording of <laughs> how to log into fucking discord or some bullshit rather than just a screen recording of <laughs> how to log into fucking discord or some bullshit uh so that's what i'm gonna do so you, you down for that i don't like timing and for my voice and my mic i feel like this gives a nice effect it doesn't tint or color the audio too much. I try not to add too much of a thing. I do give a little bit of a broadcast tone. However, I'm really just trying to lift up the audio a little bit, make it stand out a little bit more. And that's my main goal with this effect. Anyway, guys, it's that easy to master your audio in Adobe Audition. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.